right, everyone, I am back in Portland for the summer after touring in Columbia for six months. It was a phenomenal tour. I did so many things on this tour differently than any other tour I've ever had. And so many of the things I did made for a much richer experience. And I'm gonna be talking about a lot of these things in the future. Today, I wanna to talk about something completely different. I follow a lot of the Facebook trike pages and Bent Rider online, and I see that people go on these sites and ask for advice, information about buying a trike. And often they will say, oh, I'm really excited to buy a trike. I'm looking at Terra trike, Ice trike, Cat trike. And they will ask the groups, which trike should I buy? And today I want to talk about why I really don't think that's a very good way to buy a trike. And then I want to describe how I uh, think you should go about buying a trike. So, all right, let's go. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, so somebody's online asking for advice about buying a trike. They're looking at Terra trike, ice trike, cat trike, and they want to know which trike they should buy. And these types of posts always generate a lot of responses. And typically people respond with the trike they know, and that's the trike they own. People seem to really like their trikes. And uh, it's kind of unusual that someone is going to know enough about three different trikes and particularly not three specific trikes. For instance, I've been riding a trike for 14 years, but I haven't ridden uh, ice trike, cat trike, or terra trike. And I would argue in this particular scenario that we really don't have enough information to give good advice. For instance, we don't know how old the person is. We don't know if there are medical issues. Maybe there's physical limitations. We don't know if they've been riding recumbent. Maybe they're coming from the go fast bike club culture. Um, we don't know why they want to start riding a trike. And we don't know how they are thinking about using their trike. Maybe they don't feel comfortable riding on roads. Maybe they're just going to be using it on bike paths and multi-use trails. The other issue is when you're talking about manufacturers, each manufacturer makes many different models of trike and they're going to have three for sure. They're going to have an entry level trike. This is going to be a trike that's less expensive. It's going to have a lower quality components. It's going to have a higher weight limit for the rider. It's also going to weigh more. There's the Speed Demon trike. This is going to be the lightest trike. It's going to be more expensive. It's going to have less places to uh, attach things. There's probably not going to be a rear rack and you want to keep it as aerodynamic as possible. It's going to have a lower weight and a lower weight limit for the rider. There's going to be the touring trike and this is a trike designed to ride for hours and hours and hours all over the world. It's going to have a ton of attachment points, rear rack, probably suspension, and it's going to be more expensive, it's going to weigh more, and it's going to have a higher weight limit for the rider. And so these are just some of the options that each manufacturer is going to offer, and there's going to be many, many more. And of course, there's many, many more manufacturers to consider. If I was going to be giving advice to somebody about riding a, about buying a trike, I would say get your butt into as many trikes as you can. There are so many options and um, so many different manufacturers, and it's really hard to say which one is going to speak to you, but I can say that the right trike will speak to you. Um, here in Portland, we are very fortunate to have two bike shops that carry a lot of recumbent trikes with a lot of options, and you can go test ride them, and there's people to go ride with. Um, but I know that a lot of places there aren't these kinds of options and I have a few ideas for this as well. The first one is, you know, get online. Tell people where you live and ask if there's anybody in the vicinity that rides a trike and maybe, maybe you guys could get together and talk about trikes. Maybe they'll let you test ride their trike. 
Another uh, option is if you're going on vacation or you're going on a business trip, um, you know, check the destination and maybe there's a bike shop that carries recumbents and recumbent trikes and you could carve out some extra time to go take a visit and do some test riding and talk to somebody about the trikes that they carry. There's also events all over the country that are for recumbents and trikes. There are events in Wisconsin, New York, Florida, Texas, California. The biggest triking event is called Tater Tot. It's in Idaho. It's in every June. There's probably 50, 60 trikers that get together. And at all of these events, people are more than happy to let each other try each other's trikes, bikes, and the biggest event is the granddaddy of them all. It's on the Oregon coast. It's the recumbent retreat. It's every September and there's well over a hundred bikes and trikes, mostly trikes at this point and probably 15 miles of trails. It's a very safe environment to go test riding. And you know, at these events, uh, you're going to be meeting a lot of the people that you talk to online on Facebook, on Bent Rider online. And you get to see how people have their trikes set up. Everybody's got different gearing. Uh, they've got different things attached. They're using it for different uh, scenarios. Maybe they've got medical issues or physical limitations. Maybe um, it's for touring. A lot of people like to ride with their dogs. And so you can talk to people and say, wow, that's really interesting, or what is that gadget, and actually see how people use their trikes and try them out. And so those are some of my ideas for, you know, going about buying a trike. It's a really big investment. Um, I think it's totally worth it. For me, buying a trike was probably one of the best investments I've ever made. Uh, I am currently riding an HP Velotechnic FS20, a Scorpion, and I've had this trike for seven, maybe even eight years. It's got many more years um, of riding in it. It cost me thousands of dollars, but I feel like I've totally gotten my money's worth. And, um, you know, I think if you go out and start looking at trikes, you're going to find the trike that speaks to you for your particular needs. Um, if you found this uh, video informative, consider subscribing. All summer long I'm going to be putting out videos with tips, um, tutorials, gear reviews, as well as uh, ride reports. Um, so um, it's always nice to have people comment. If you have any questions, maybe I left something out, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.